and we are live. Uh, and everything's more come. So, I'm gonna, yeah, it's weird. Uh, <laughs> so we can still hear you though. That's the main thing. Yeah, yeah. On, guys. We are here in the Medicine Show Radio Moose Mobile. Uh, so is Malcolm. He's down in your right hand corner just now, but I'm going to get him as soon as we possibly can uh, to the center of things. I think um, I'm sitting right above uh, you at the moment. Then we'll have a chat. Yeah, I know. We're, we're, we're juggling. Yeah. So, uh, yes, I, I'm, well, we're hey, fine. There we, we go. We can see you, we can hear you. Hey. And hey. Uh, I'm here in a place that you know well, very well, in fact. Uh, mm. Many people in the Highland Scotland know this story. They, uh, and it was highlighted by the BBC just recently as well, which is a, which is something a bit different. I'll talk to you about how you found yourself. But first, I think the best way to story is that we're talking in the Highlands of Scotland, Wester Ross, is to play the song, this fabulous song. To come back and yeah, thank you. Uh, interrogate you on the on the song itself when it's out. Uh, I'll play it gratefully and thank th thank you. For, we do love an exclusive. Me and my saving that, aren't we? <laughs> we do, I, I do yeah, love yeah. an exclusive uh, on the, yeah. The IMTV, and this is the exclusive first play of the Dark Harwat. Thank thank you, Malcolm. This is coming right up. On the road to Alapool from Gourla, on Scotland's western. Dark Island. What you sow from a harvest, eco warfare, eco terror, if you will, but without their actions, it would be off limits. Still, they dug the soil and sent the sample back from whence it came. And finally, the government cleaned up the dirty secret mess they made. Now, Grunard saved.
Okay, <laughs> there wouldn't be the uh, the medicine show on TV if we didn't have our own technical hitches. Malcolm, you were saying you couldn't hear it. Uh, it was hear? just off and on. It was off and on. I mean, it's. Uh, are you getting me? Was it? All right. Yeah. Uh, here's my phone. Yeah, you seem to be juddering a bit as well this end. Yeah. Well, I apologise that. Uh, there, I have got a uh, red symbol coming up here as well. So, still folks watching, still folks listening, we'll play it later on. Uh, but let's just bash on for now and see if there's, we've got a clear yeah, yeah. enough feed to be able to chat about the, the, the song itself Dark Harvest the background to it and then I'll uh, when you came across the, the story okay well so um, I suppose the background to the song is it's I mean I've always known uh, Green Yard or a uh, Green Yard as you say uh, as a as Anthrax Island it was something you know, uh, we used, we used to pass by it regularly with my dad, and uh, so I always kind of it was just a story I always knew about. You know, during the Second World War, yeah. it was used to test, a, you know, a new strain of anthrax, which uh, you know Winston Churchill had planned to drop on the on the Germans if things went uh, wrong. You know, I mean, a fairly uh, a fairly bad idea to be honest, but uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, the, I mean, to be honest, I, I'd actually kind of forgotten about the story. The reason it came up again is because you actually reminded me of it. So, <laughs> so, if, if, if it, so if anything, um, <laughs> the inspiration for that song came directly from you. Uh, so, I yeah. wonder. When was so there that? You go. <laughs> was I up round this way and took a photo of it and <clears throat> told the story? No, I think, it was, I, I, I think we were just discussing... It was just discussing, I suppose, just sort of various, uh, I, you know, I mean, I mean, neither of us are, you know, uh, are, I've got any, uh, you know, we're, I mean, I'm, I'm certainly not anti-English in any way at all, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's like, and it was you just, but, but it was, you're, not at all, but, you're but in it was, London. I'm in London, but it was just how, <laughs> I think, I think we'd maybe been discussing, it was just, Post Culloden, we were discussing that and and how things, how you kind of, I suppose how Scotland's maybe sort of lost control of of you know, yeah. you know of, of of certain aspects of its own uh, you know of its own rights to do what it wants to do. So yeah, yeah. Well, we uh, the thing about it that intrigues me around this area, it, and you know this, uh, I've been I flashed some photos. It is. It looks like it's uh, out in the, it is out in the middle of nowhere, but when you trace the military aspect of this part of the world uh, back, this was right at the heart of uh, well the the battle for the Atlantic was mm -hmm. I wouldn't have said uh, organized from here, but it certainly was uh, a haven for the convoys that were running yeah. back and forward to uh to between america and russia so i mean still very much sort of remnants of that even now you know there is yeah yeah, yeah. i mean we're, we're i'm still we're on we're sat on grinyard bay just now and there's a fuel depot mm -hmm. uh, built into the hill just down down the road there uh which yeah i know where you are yeah 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 so uh when uh War games are on. This is it's it, it's a it's a, a bustling military port. 
at that time, mm-hmm. at, at those times. I've been here when that has been working. It must have been something to see at the time when the big convoys were coming in here and refueling. And oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Aye. So, no, so the, and I'll show you this, actually. I, I, I took a photo of this today. Uh, now, this wee road, if I, if I can get it, and I think we're getting video books with this as well. Guys, while I'm downloading this video, there is a chat frame, comment on the page that you're watching this from. Uh, I can flash it up on, I can flash it up on the, Screen like so. This is Ruth Purvis Smith glitching in and out. Rob, you're the only one breaking up. That's very handy to know. Thank you. Uh, so I can do that sort of stuff. Uh, any feedback, very much appreciated. And hopefully, I'm not glitching anymore. So I'll just talk as quite uh, as slowly. Not that I do talk fast, but I'll. I'll talk as slowly as I can so that uh, everybody can get the questions that I'm asking. You can ask some questions in this chat frame. I'll just put a hello in there from me and uh, if there are any questions for Malcolm at that point or the pair of us as we are here in Grinyard Bay just off uh, Anthrax Island uh, the testing site for uh, weapons of mass destruction, which uh, I mean, you're quite explicit in the in that song, Malcolm. I tell you, I think uh, I think right now, right now, the world seems a much darker place than it was even ten years ago. You know, it, it's, and I think even throughout the whole album, I've you know I've got little, you know, for example, I haven't thought about. The Cold War, I haven't thought about nuclear weapons for a long time, but yet I think films like Oppenheimer have come along and yeah. if you time that in, and I think that's maybe time to, you know, with what's happening in Ukraine, uh, it's, I think there's a, and I love the idea that, that um, what the Dark Harvest Commando, you know, these I suppose what, what what I really class as as true patriots, you know, um, what they went and did because they put their own liberty uh, at risk by taking direct action uh, to to go and solve this problem, and you know, and it's it's a that's a real commitment, you know, to right or wrong, and I, you know, I absolutely applaud them for that. So, I think that that. Uh, element of what they did i found it really inspiring and i think a lot of that comes right through the whole album yeah so the dark island command uh, dark harvest commandos nobody knows who they are even to this no, day no it's amazing uh, te- yeah tell us what they did okay so what they did was the um they've been calling for um, Anth- uh, well, Anthrax Island. They've been calling for Greenyard to be cleaned up, to have all the sort of uh, live spores of anthrax to be taken off it, uh, and f- you know for it to be made safe uh, for people to walk on it again. And um, so they ended up uh, taking. They took two samples. They sent one to uh, Brighton, I think, where there was the Tory Head Party uh, conference happened to be going on. Uh, I do remember, vaguely remember, the papers having mentions about Scottish terrorism and all that sort of stuff. Uh, the Tories, being the Tories, did nothing about it. Uh, and then they sent another one uh, directly to Porton Down. And uh, you know, uh, both samples tested live uh, for anthrax. And a few years later, uh, the government came up. I mean, and this was in the late 80s. Uh, yeah. and, and they came up and they cleaned... I think they removed a metre of topsoil off the whole island and sprayed it with some sort of decontaminant. Um, I'm, I'm I mean, uh, told, I've been talking to some of the locals, and, you know, it is conjecture, uh, and I try not to listen to rumour, but 
uh, I was told it was formaldehyde that they cleaned uh, up with. No, no, I think I think that sounds about right. Actually, I, yeah. I, I, I think that's what it is. I and think I, they just. Uh, and it, also, I don't know if this is uh, this is true or not as well, but it's just repeating what uh, uh, somebody was telling me that they had heard. So it is conjecture, but they also uh, tested bubonic plague, supposedly, well, well. Mm. on uh, four or five ships full of uh, of livestock out in the minch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, the thing is, I mean, who knows? You know, uh, I mean, if you just think, I mean, this, I mean, these were very small, very small canisters that they'd exploded. Uh, yeah. The all the all the livestock that they put onto the island for that purpose, for the testing purpose, they all died. But also, um, yeah. there were reports of uh, dead livestock on the mainland as well. You know, you know. So yeah. it's it's. I mean, if you'd imagined the actual consequences of, you know, of dropping something as you know as horrific as that uh, onto onto mainland Europe, and just think. It, 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 you know, it could have been devastating for lots of Europe. You know, I mean, not just, not just, not just Germany. Yeah, there were there were desperate times. Yeah, and absolutely, was, absolutely. It was desperate situation uh, uh, that needed probably needed a desperate. That's how that that's what they were looking for. Yeah. How, uh, the yeah. Getting back to the commandos, though, what I'd love to... I mean, apart from the fact that the, this being such a close-knit uh, society and community mm -hmm. up here, that everybody closed ranks and the police were deployed to try and find out who it was that was doing this. Yeah. And nobody ever got close no. close to it, to finding out. It was tried... There's a off-the-grid uh, community just along here which uh, just the, at, at the end of the uh, little locked room mm -hmm. called Scorig mm -hmm. and they tried they tried to pin it on Scorig uh, and it didn't stick no uh, and they couldn't find they couldn't find in the end uh, nobody talked no I mean, somebody I, in this area would have known oh absolutely I mean well, the, know, well the thing is I, I, from what I'd heard I, I'd heard that the it was possibly you know, they may have been uh, possible students, uh, maybe science-based students based, at, you know, based at Glasgow yeah. University. But um, who knows? You know, it's 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 really intriguing, and I love the idea that that you know, to this day, it's still civil disobedience. Yeah, 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 work. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, totally. Uh, and and this is particularly civil. This 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 I, of disobedience. I, I I mean I know that it was sent uh, to the Tory Party conference, uh, but it was sent with full warnings. It wasn't as if anybody was going to no uh, open this and say and uh, contaminate anybody. They, no, no, exactly. Uh, I th I think the one that actually convinced the government that they need to do something about this, apart from chasing down the perpetrators, uh, they sent a, they put they put a canister at the top of the Blackpool Tower. Right, told yeah, the yeah. authorities it was there, but that one wasn't contaminated. That was just soil by itself. That, I think, was a stroke of genius. I think um, we've got Audrey Green Oaks is, is just saying, do you know right. you, you, you know who they were? But uh, no, I mean, nobody knows who they were, Audrey. It's, uh, it's been one of the best-kept secrets in Scotland. So, uh, yeah. So that's, that's interesting. Then yeah. bubonic play was tested mm -hmm. in Isle of Lewis in uh, 1952-53. I wonder yeah. why. So we'll answer some of these questions. Uh, does Rob know who the Harvest Men were? No. Uh, I know I was talking to somebody from Scoreg at the gig that we did on Friday with... Uh, with uh, Mark Mulholland mm -hmm. uh, and he was telling me that he was the first person that employed you like this, it's a bit of a rock and roll story employed to take uh, 
livestock back onto the island. Oh, okay. And cleaned it up. Ah, no, that's so cool. So he got that gig. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And he did that with D Dave Mason from... He didn't do it with Dave Mason uh, from Pink Floyd, but it was his sister's boat that he used. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's cool. That's just a little yeah, bit yeah. of trivia for mm -hmm. you. That, uh, those... Those animals uh, survived, uh, and I was talking to somebody today as well, because the whole island went on flip up on fire this summer. Yeah, I, I, I was there uh, literally just after. I mean, it was so all I saw was sort of charred, you know, sort of charred heather everywhere. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah that's, that, that's just the last time I've been up. So, it's, it's, but um, it was just after uh, that. The, the receptionist at the museum in Gerloch uh, said today that, uh, remarkably, or unremarkably, just uh, in the wake of that fire, uh, the estate owners who still own the, mm -hmm. and they'll be pleased that they can do this, of course, uh, planted uh, a whole load of trees on the island as well. So it's getting back to the point where, where it's going to be used. Aye. I mean, I must, I must admit, you know, going back. I mean, I've got there's a couple of songs in the album that sort of look at. Um, I've got one called Heather and Honey, which sort of looks at the. I suppose it's the idea of a modern clearances now because uh, you've got families, you, you know, who have lived up there for generations, but yeah. but they can't afford to live there anymore, you know, and and. Um, I mean, I I don't know what I don't know what your views are, but it's like every every time I seem to be driving past Glasgow on my way up north, Glasgow just seems to be getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and yet I don't know the the sort of highlands seem to be getting ever more depopulated, and I think yeah. I think the problem with all this rewilding is that I I think you know for a fact as soon as as soon as money, as soon as these hedge funds want to invest in trees, it's not about the planet. They don't care about the planet. It's no. a, it's about, no. it, it's about, it's about greenwashing everything and making, you, you know, yeah. it, this 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 idea of carbon offsetting. I mean, uh, you know, I, I'm, I, I I just think it should it should be people should come first up there and and, uh, you know. It, uh, otherwise, otherwise the Highlands end up as a as a sort of playground for the for a moneyed clan. Well, it's not as if it ends up like that. It starts off from that perspective since since the clearances. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it it has been a a, a playground. I mean, it, it, and to put it into perspective and. What you're saying about Glasgow, you could just take Glasgow out and put Inverness in there because Inverness is expanding. Yeah, uh, yeah. As the mm -hmm. Highlands contracts mm -hmm. as well. Uh, the 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 Highlands itself is the size of Belgium. Aye. But the pop the population is the same as Norwich. Yeah. 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 You know, and th that's the space that we mm -hmm. have up here. Croft, it, the, there has been some land reform initiatives, and that uh, some of those have been very successful. Buyouts, some of the islands have bought, the communities have bought out their own islands. Yeah, I mean, I think what Noid Art's done is, is great. Uh, you Noid know, like, amazing. you know, it's like, you know, and I think, I think we need more of these sort of type, you know, sort of things in Scotland, but, but yeah, man. Um, so, okay, I've got Malcolm at what, uh, who is a exiled Scot uh, living in London. You're, I think you might be coming home again I am, at some point. I am. Uh, you, are, you were quick in with very, that. Uh, we were originally looking at, at this year. Um, we'd actually put our uh, the flat upstairs on the market. and um, But it's just, I don't know, it... it, it I think with the current economic climate, it's just not the time to sell up and move because it's 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 like a, yeah. um, unlike previous years, I, I don't think they would there'll, there'll be a queue of people, you know, waiting outside, you know, uh, to buy our flat. It's like a, it's yeah. it's 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 a tough times for everyone, and I, I think that's a, 
yeah, that's a sort of sad fact right now. So, uh, yeah, a couple more years, I think probably, you know, as soon as things pick up, you know, my wife and I are, we're pretty desperate to get back up, you know. I mean, uh, we're not going to, I mean, I'm originally from Elgin, so the, but the plan is to go and live in, in Dornoch or, you know, um, Tain even. Nice part of the world. Yeah, yeah lovely part yeah. of the world. Uh, okay, so I want to get back to talking about the album. Uh, also, uh, the, because it's it's early yet. It's not out until January. January twenty sixth. Yeah. So is that it? everything's uh, ready, packaged, Aye. Uh, yeah, so mix? The, uh, uh, the artworks being that's been completed uh, this week. Uh, nice. I, I've just signed off on 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 what. On, on how I want things to be. Um, there's going to be 14 tracks. Uh, I think uh, I wrote. I actually wrote 30 songs f the for the for the whole project. Uh, we ended up. I recorded 20 of them, and then um, there's 14 going to go on the album, and I'll just put. The, you know, the other six I'll just make available as, you know. Uh, on I suppose on Bandcamp or on Spotify to anybody that might 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 want to listen. You know, some of those songs didn't quite fit the Dark Harvest theme. Um the yeah. theme itself's quite dark. You know, it's about it's about reaping what you sow and I think um you know I, I think if you my my feelings are if if you're sowing propaganda, you're sowing lies, you're sowing fake news and blatant corruption from the top down then then a broken society is what we're going to reap and uh, so I, I think and i've used a lot of yeah you know i've used a lot of historical um references maybe historical stories but i think the idea of using that it's more just to show how how these injustices and things that haven't really changed you know you know, 200, 300 years on, we're still, you know, there's still this, in fact, I think, I think things are worse. There's this unsustainable gap between the rich and the poor. Uh, and there's, you know, there, there seems to be, so, you know, I, I, I'm kind of scared for my children's future at the moment. I'm, you know, I'm not ashamed to admit that, you know, it's, it's, so I think that's, that's why the album's a little bit, it's definitely a kind of a dark, meaty, um, uh, there's a lot in it, and it's and there's maybe not a lot to to, to be that happy about, you know. So yeah, uh, you know, and at the end of the day, it's that it has to be down to the artists and the, and uh, uh, the creatives. And I and I do applaud you and and folks like you for for having the conviction. That, uh, to do that, it might not be the, <laughs> it might not be the most commercial thing to do. No. Uh, <laughs> no. And so I should, I should applaud your, uh, your label, uh, who have been really good for you, eh? Since you, since you, they've been, these guys. Uh, they're brilliant. They're, they're brilliant. It's, it's like I've got a, I've got a really, really, really good relationship with uh, Brian Brinkerhoff, who's the label boss. Um, I think. Uh, Remind me the name uh, of the label again. Uh, they're uh, called Need uh, Need to Know Music. Need to know. And, there, and you, I mean, there you go. That's enough to. It's need to know, and you're uh, yeah. and you're putting the music out. People do need to know this stuff. I think the thing I love about the label is that it's uh, it's it's all about the art. You know, yeah. it's there. It's not about. Uh, there's no. Uh, there's there's no pressure on me to to do something, you know, commercial or do something that might sell a few more things. You know, it, it's a, uh, you know, Brian just uh, just sort of lets, I he just lets people do what they have to do. You know, and uh, so you know, like I love him for that. I love the fact that he's he's got a brilliant uh, little black book of people that he knows. You know, and uh, and he's been willing to. Uh, you know, to share some of them uh, with me, you know, so. Uh, that, uh, I mean, some of the guests that you've got on your album, you've got a guest on this song. We're going to play the song again as well. 
Uh, and <laughs> what I love now is this. That was mostly done in the lockup and uh, the lock lockdown. I keep saying lockup. I mm -hmm. wonder why that is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <it's, laughs> the lockdown. Uh, yeah. Some of the guests that you're starting to meet them on the road now, and and they're going on stage with you, and you're going on stage yeah. with them. So I know. I mean, I was. Uh, I got a chance to. Uh, I spent. Uh, I had a few days uh, touring around with Laura Cantrell. That was that yeah, was man. that was amazing. She was. Yeah, she's just such an absolute. Um, uh, she's she was just a, a really great human being, uh, a brilliant artist. It was so so, fantastic to be sitting. You, you know, beside you know, beside her and her band. Uh, I mean, her. Like our bands are amazing. I mean, it's it's like a. a I mean, Jen, uh, Jen and me. Uh, oh, what's his surname? Ch Chas Chasnick. I mean, he's. He did uh, Springsteen's uh, Seeger sessions, the tour and the album. You know, yeah. it's like you know, so yeah. get to you know, getting to play with, you know, people of of you know of that sort of caliber. It's 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 fantastic. You know, so yeah. Amazing, excellent stuff. I. Oh, remind me who's on this song that we're just about to play again. Oh yeah, I've uh, so I've got <laughs> I've got Nathan Bell, uh, who's become Nathan. a he's become sorry, a sorry Nathan. He's become a really good friend of mine. Uh, I mean Nathan's um, yeah. Uh, Nathan, to be honest, like Nathan's been he's been really, really, really generous with me. Uh, he, you know, he invited me to do uh, a run of gigs opening for him and uh that that kind of opened a lot of doors for me you know it's it's yeah. like um and also you know he, i think if it wasn't for nathan i wouldn't be working uh i, I wouldn't have had a chance to have, you know sort of work with a brilliant um uh, dutch agency uh called lucky dice and uh you know so yeah nathan's been a um you know to have somebody who's Who's recognised as a musician with real integrity and and uh, yeah. you know to have him you know sort of willing to uh, play the guitar on this track and to you know and I love the the little vocal interlude he did it's it's got uh, it's got real gravitas and uh, you know so yeah uh, who else did I work with on this album um, I've done a song with Angeline Morrison. Um, she's amazing. Uh, she's from Cornwall. Um, really, really, really great artist. Uh, um, I think a fantastic Irish guitar player called Pat McManus, uh, who I believe was like a friend of Rory Gallagher's. And uh, I, I, I've kind of covered, it's the only time I've ever covered a song. Uh, and it's, a song uh, called "Out in the Western Plain," uh, which Rory Gallagher used to be in his his. It was yeah. one of the few acoustic songs in his set. It, it, it's actually a lead belly song, uh, but I took the song and you know, sort of mess with it. Uh, I changed a lot of the words, uh, to be, mainly just to reflect the fact that um, you know, I, I love Americana music, I love country music, but I think having that scottish ancestry yeah allows me to to claim a stake in americana um because yeah. when you look at the history a the history of the appalachians but even a history of the cowboys um uh, you know i mean you've got people like jesse chisholm you know who was half scots uh yeah. i mean the chisholm trails chisholm named trail. after them yeah. James Scotty Phillip, who I've written a song about, um, who yeah. is is in the Cowboy Hall of Fame. You know, I mean, he's a guy who is actually born in Dallas, as in my Dallas, just down the road yeah. from Elgin. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I mean, he's credited with Char he, Charlie Goodnight was. Yeah. Uh, his parents were from Dumbarton. I. Uh, you know, Goodnight loving trail. So it's all these, you know, like, and I think, I think. You know the Appalachians are full of Scots and Ulster Scots and yeah. and uh, you know and 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 I think to me you know country music or what we call Americana now it's yeah. I, I I think that I love the fact that there's this direct link to to Scotland I mean especially Scotland I think you know you know so 
it's, it was the joy of my life, and it was in the time when uh, we lost contact with each other for about 25 yeah. years. Yeah. We knew each other way back in when I started putting on bands and stuff like that, for those that mm-hmm. might not know. Uh, in that time, I went from putting on uh, bands down to uh, putting on solo artists and taking on, keeping a trail open, mostly for American musicians and sometimes mm-hmm. for American tr- tr- traditional musicians around the Highlands. The joy of my life was what putting American traditional musicians, Appalachian players, in the company of Highland traditional players. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It was yeah. the same tunes. Aye. Mm-hmm. Different tempo. Uh, yeah. the, the American stuff swung a, li- a little bit more. Uh, and and the fiddle tunes were played on guitar, flat pick guitar. Mm-hmm. But they were the same tunes. And they would finish at the end, having recognised it, finish at the end. One would look to the other, so what's the name of that song? And uh, so that was the McPherson's Return to the Glen. Mm-hmm. And the Americans were... Oh, that's the cup of tea. That's a, that. That's yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That's the whiskey jug or whatever. Yeah, but they were the same songs. Same, the songs the same tunes remain. Yeah, yeah, and the same themes as well. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, yeah, uh, no, I mean, I love unrequited that. I love, love that and cheating. <laughs> and all the country themes are in the sad. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah, you know, sad yeah. songs and drinking songs. You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like songs, a, it's, it's, it's the, yeah. it's the. Yeah. So no, let's play that. the song again that's brought us to this uh, this broadcast. We'll come back. I think I'll play the single, uh, the Selkie single as well. Uh, okay, yeah, at some point. that'd be it's cool. So well for you. I is. And we'll thank everybody for joining us. Have we got any other uh, questions in the chat frame? Not yet, but if you just joined us recently in the chat frame, if you've got a question for, for Malcolm, we can flag that up. Uh, once we have a listen to the song, hopefully you can hear it this time, Malcolm. I'll just, uh, well, and I'm hoping that everybody else got a chance to hear it. This is the Dark it, Harvest. <coughs> Sorry, if they don't, it will be out in January oh, 26 anyway. January, so, yeah, so yeah. It's, the Dark <laughs> it's the uh, it's the will it be it's the title track of yeah. the album of the same name, the Epim Ep, Epim Epim. Epim Eponymous. Ep- eponymous, 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 it's the yeah. eponymous track from Dark Harvest, right. the an- album which is coming up uh, in the new year from Malcolm at Work. I can't wait to hear the rest of this stuff, Malcolm. This uh, it's been a delight. I'll be back in a minute though. Thank you, Steve.
Eco warfare, eco terror, call it what you will. But without their actions, Grunard would be off limits. Still, they dug the soil and sent a sample back from whence it came. And finally, the government cleaned up the dirty secret mess they'd made. Now Grunard's safe for all to walk again. Anthemond, Isle of Death no longer is her name. And to this day, no one revealed the names of those compelled. But Grunard knows, and Grunard keeps her secrets to herself. Dark harvest. And here's to the dark harvest from them. Who they were, only Grunard knows. Sometimes direct action is the only way to go. When dark forces rule, and the powers that be ignore. And one generation's terrorist or political prisoner is the next generation's activist politician. You reap what you sow. What you sow from a dark harvest. You reap what you sow from a dark harvest. You reap what There you are. Powerful stuff stuff and Malcolm you're uh it, it's been a delight thank you very much oh no thank you Rob cheers it's been a pleasure it's always a pleasure chatting with you not at all and I was looking for an excuse to get to the west coast then, you know, <laughs> yeah yeah <that's>... yeah <laughs> and funnily enough I mean the, the, this is the first summer I haven't made it up there uh I think partly uh p partly my dog he was he wasn't very well uh it's a, it was the first year he wasn't able to travel he actually yeah, I actually put him down a couple of weeks ago, so that was pretty brutal. Oh, sorry, yeah. um, but it's because uh, that was his, you know, sort of uh, Gearlock Beach. He just loved that place. So, um, yeah. And then, uh, and then also, I've, I've, we're having a we had a massive uh, a leak in our roof, so I've, I've had to get you know get all that fixed. So, uh, but I'm but I'm hoping maybe uh, yeah, I might get a chance to get up you know before Christmas. So. Hopefully, because any time it's it yeah, yeah, because it's always nice up there. It doesn't matter what the season is. Um, no, nah, it's only weather. Rain, snow, you sunshine. It's all it, good. Uh, I totally, totally. You, well, you get it all in one day. Anyway, yeah, yeah. No matter what time <laughs> of year it is. So, uh, so Selkie, tell us a bit about the song Selkie. Uh, okay, yes. Yeah, so Selkie's written. Actually, it was one of the first songs I wrote uh, as a. I suppose as a singer songwriter, it's for a friend of mine um, called James Lumsden, uh, an absolute gem of a boy. Uh, but uh, you, you know, so, uh, Jim had a few, uh, he had a few sort of mental health problems, things that we understand a lot more nowadays. But back in the day, uh, he didn't. You know, I mean, they called it manic depression back then, and uh, uh, he uh, he. Tragically, he took his own life. He just he just walked into the North Sea one day, and that was it. You know, uh, down at the Bear's Head or Boar's Head, you know, uh, near Lossy Mouth. And so, uh, I wrote the song for him. You know, I mean, we've got a we have a legend, a myth that, uh, about you know about the Selkie, and um, and you know, you could have Selkie, Selkie women, Selkie Selkie men. They were all very. They're all supposed to be attractive people that, and you know, uh, people wanted to be around them. And I think that was definitely the case for Jim. He was just a lovely guy, and I just loved the idea that that maybe uh, he just sort of cast his, he sort of cast his human body off, and and uh, he, you know, sort of uh, swam away into the depths, you know. Um, so yeah, it was. I, I play it. At, I play it at every gig I've, I've played. You know, uh, it's one of the songs I always play. It's. I suppose just to keep, you know, keep his memory alive, you know. Well, we'll send it out. We'll send it out to all the Selkies, Jimmy as Aye, well. indeed. All right, indeed. Uh, Cheers. So we'll play. We'll play out with this. Uh, I'll I'll flash some more information up on the screen. Uh, let you get back to <laughs> renovating your house. <laughs> renovating, I know. Like I'm looking at our kitchen and not being able to do anything. You know, all I want is a oh, cup of man. tea, and I'm thinking, you know, I have to get the camping stove out. And so. I uh, well, uh, you take care of yourselves. You Indeed. Guys. Looking forward to seeing you. 
hopefully see you uh, before the album comes out but uh, I'm also gonna uh, get our people to talk to your people about Belladrum Festival this year. Brilliant. I, I would love to be that. And yeah. I mean, I think as the, our people, I, I really do want to sort of uh, connect a lot more with Scotland next year. That's that's the yeah. that's the plan. You know, like yeah. I want to sort of get out and get a lot more gigging. And, and uh, so, you, you know, if there's a yeah. Any little tours of the Highlands going, Rob? Just count me in. You know, I'm there. We shall. We shall keep talking about that. Brilliant. That's for sure. Apologies for my lighting system. It's uh, in keeping with the dark harvest <laughs> theme. It started really bright in here, uh, but I believe the Mrs. Battery is strong as I was hoping they would be uh, for this uh, event. But thanks again, guys. Thanks for listening. We've, uh, thanks for staying with us for the entire audience. Uh, the ent entire audience for staying with us all the way. It's been great. Uh, what I'm doing, just while I've got your attention, I'm, uh, I've been invited down to Odd, which is on at the end. Uh, so hopefully the, the moose will be unofficially uh, calling in at the Mod and Paisley and uh, I th I'm just waiting to find out if Richard Jobson and uh, Martin Metcalf. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got I've got an invite to the gig. I'm just uh, waiting to find out if I can get, get an interview with uh, Mr. Jobson and Martin Metcalf, who used to be in uh, uh, Goodbye, Mr. Kenzie, and is a pal of mine as well. Jack Harris is on that bill as well. So that will be a fabulous night out. It's uh, Friday in Hallwood. Well, Shirley Manson yeah. from from Garbage was in that, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah, Shirley. Uh, Shirley she was, was in Goodbye, Mister Mackenzie, for a wee while. Really? Yeah, Aye. yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I, I actually posted something uh, that Shirley went, "Ah, Rob, how you doing?" So it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, as I do as well. So mm -hmm. that's really cool. So hopefully catch up with all that uh, over the weekend, and uh, we'll be heading. Uh, I'm I'm actually going to do a little bit more poking around here, uh, for the for the story we just done, but just to find out a bit more about what happened during the Second World War, uh, with the convoys and everything. Tomorrow there's a centre just down. I didn't get a chance to have a look uh, into it today. Have you had a look round there? No, no, no. I'm I mean, if, a, it's I'm like a, a look. Hi. Part, part of what, what I do, apart from highlighting independent music and uh, and independent venues and community festivals and the like, is I, uh, I like to try and get a flavour of the history of the place that we get invited to along the way, and I do a history blog. So at some point. I will be blog blogging all of this on uh, the Medicine Show Moose mobile uh, page. Now, I should put that graphic up so that you can see where that is. And then I'm going to play the selkie, honestly. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no worries. So, Medicine Show on the road dot me. Follow that and it will take you through to the moose page uh i'm also on the chat frame as well from the youtube page so if anybody wants to get a, a notify notification whenever i go live on youtube please do subscribe to the youtube channel that's a nice sound of fun just water <laughs> oh damn <laughs> well we'll have a beer when we see you Mark. yeah indeed uh, Malcolm, that, right. that is for sure uh okay selkie where are you this is it, it's coming up. Malcolm at Watt Selke, a new song for Jimmy. Shadows stumbling in. 
stronger currents than your soul. Your heart breaks and highlights The spirit of wishes on your shore When big seas were rolling Zilke heard the calling not for us to know why you tired of this world slipped away with the time so pull the ocean over Selkie, Malcolm McWatt, his uh, most recent song over Europe and the States as well, both sides. Uh, and uh, with his coming, thanks very much, Malcolm. Are you still with us? Can you hear us? We are. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm. I'm just uh, uh, speaking to some some people in the in the chat there. So yeah, nice to see you all. Hey, nice to see you, Gary, um, Steve. Yeah. Um, I think. Audrey, um, Susan, the, thank you very much. Uh, I think we well, a, uh, Lorna Symes as well, which is, which is great. Because I'm actually. Yeah, I think yeah, we had it, one or two problems with the feet. I think we'll. Okay. We'll cut our losses and cut out of here. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was well good. It was good. Again, thanks very much fine. for joining. No, cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. I'll, I'll get story. Needs to be told. And, All right. Uh, see you later. Song, uh, thanks well. a lot. Well, thank you very much, Malcolm. What? No bother, thanks a lot, man. That's us. Cheers. Here. Listen, <laughs> Bye. Guys, uh, just a look, my last chance to uh, do my own uh, publicity here. It is public, everything we do on IMTV and uh, is on donation and by donation. So if you do feel like uh, popping something in the kitty there is a qi code there support the, just the cost of a cup of tea uh would help me uh fill the fill the 
the gas, gas tank and get me down to Paisley uh, for the weekend for the mod and uh, stay tuned for that please do subscribe to the page uh, whichever page you're on and you, you will get uh, downloads uh, you will get notifications whenever we do go live uh, on IMTV it's very much appreciated all your support and all your help uh, with regard to all that we do we couldn't do it without you simple as that is the truth thanks guys <laughs> Thank you.